Hey, this is Joe from JoeCalAntonio.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Quality Center's Open Test Architecture and using it within Service Test 11.20 to download a resource that's stored in Quality Center. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add a reference within Service Test that points to the um, OTA API. So to do that, in Service Test, you just go to Test, Add Reference. And in the Add Reference dialog, you just want to click on the COM tab. And we're just going to look for the uh, OTA API to select it. So we're just going to click on the OTA COM type library and click on Select. You notice it adds it to the Reference box at the bottom and click OK. Awesome. So now that we have a reference to the OTA, we can then now use all its methods uh, and properties within Service Test. So go to your miscellaneous folder and we're going to drag on a custom code activity. Once we have the custom code activity on the main canvas, we're just going to click on uh, under its property sheet, the events icon, which is looks like a lightning bolt. And we're just going to select the execute event drop down and we're going to select create a default handler. Cool. So this is where we're going to place our code. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add a reference to the uh, TD connection. And you, once you have the TD connection, you can then set a connection to your uh, Quality Center instance. And for the login method, you also are going to pass it your username and your password. And for the connect method, you're also going to pass it your domain and your project name. So once you have that information, we're basically going to use the uh, QC resource factory. And for that QC resource factory, we're going to get a hold of the resource uh, resources. And with the resources, we're going to basically loop through every resource until we find the resource that we want to download. So what I've done is I've hard coded in uh, the resource that I want to grab, which is a st underscore OTA test dot text. So if we went into Quality Center, and in Quality Center under your test resources section. Um, you notice I have a resource and the resource is holding a file and that file name is stota test.txt. So this is the file that I want to download locally to my machine. Um, I've, I also created a folder on my machine called OTA test. So basically what the script is going to do, it's going to grab a list of all the current resources and it's going to loop through each one and once it finds it's going to do a compare and it's going to compare uh, see I have a string a variable called get resource that I have equal to the resource that I want once it finds that resource it's going to then download it locally to that folder before I run it just notice that there's currently no text files in my local folder so let's run it. Ah, now that's a good point. Um, I did this on purpose, really. So notice we have a um, an error saying I can't find the QC factory. Uh, the reason why is we need to add a reference to the namespace. So at the top of your script under namespace, you just want to type in using. And you want to select tdapiole.lib. And let's run it again. So if everything worked as planned, if I go back to this folder, it should have the it should have a file called stota test. Sweet, and there it is. And let's open it up, make sure it's the file that I expect. Nice. Cool. So that's how you save a quality center resource using OTA within service test. Uh, for step-by-step -step instructions and for the code I used in this video, uh, just head on over to joecalantonio.com for my post HP Service Test 11.20, how to save a QC ALM resource using OTA.